today we're looking at connecting and setting up the A2000 series of public address amplifiers from TOA. This demonstration applies to all the amplifiers in the range and most other TOA and other brands of commercial public address amplifiers. There are three connections to be made as a minimum to the amplifier which are power, output and input. So let's start with the output which wires to the loudspeakers on your system. What we need to make sure to start with is that the speaker load on a 100 volt line system is rated 10 to 15 percent less than the amplifier. This is important. All 100 volt line speakers have wattage tappings which should be added up on a simple system or measured with an impedance meter on a larger system before connecting to the amplifier. In our case, we have one 6 watt cabinet speaker, which you can see at the back of the amplifier, to connect up, and we know that that is less than the rating of the amplifier. Okay, so now in close up, we have our speaker feed, which is on a twin mains flex, which is perfectly adequate for this application. And uh, what we're going to do is put the positive or the, the live leg, which in this case is brown, onto the 100 volt terminal there. Tighten that up. And our negative or neutral leg, which is the blue, into the common. And tighten that one up. So that effectively is the loudspeaker side of things done now. What we need to do is put the cover back on that when we're finished and we're satisfied it's all working. So let's move on to the next connection in this instance which is our microphone. Okay, so we're going to connect up our microphone. The one we're going to use today is the TOA PM660D. The D stands for DIN, which is the 5-pin DIN connector on the end of the cable. The reason for that uh, becomes apparent very shortly. There is also another version of it, the PM660, which comes with a quarter inch standard jack plug. That one will plug into those two inputs. This one is designed for that input there. And that's important because if you do intend to add music to the system at some point, the extra two connections in this plug, when plugged into there, will override the music for you automatically. So let's connect that into our amplifier. And uh, that's going to go in on channel one. It goes in upside down. There we go. That's in there. So we've got our speakers connected. We've got our microphone connected. The only other thing we need to do now is connect to the mains, which we'll do in the next step. Okay, so we're ready now to power up the amplifier and uh, get it working. First step is to turn on the power. The bottom right panel there, the green light comes on. This master control now wants spinning round to around about the 1 or 2 o'clock position so we're not operating at either top or bottom of its uh, travel and then by keying this microphone switch, the torque switch there in the center we now have the microphone live, we advance the volume control on channel 1 until we get a level which we can hear coming through the loudspeakers, there's no sign of feedback there and if we talk through the microphone we've got a satisfactory level once I release that, that mic now is dead and there's nothing being broadcast on the system. And the next step, I'll connect up some uh, music and you can see how that will work. Right, okay, so we're going to connect up some music to this uh, amplifier now. And the way to do that, depending on your music source, is to use a suitable cable from the device you're going to use, whether it's a radio, a tuner, an iPod or what have you, and connect it into the auxiliary inputs here. Now the amplifier is a mono amplifier as most commercial amplifiers are. Um, this will take a stereo signal and combine it into a mono signal so it does everything for you inside. So we've got our left and right connectors here. It doesn't really matter which way these go around but we'll plug into auxiliary one and that's our connection made on the rear. The next thing we're going to do is connect the other end to our music source and uh, in the next step I'll show you how the microphone will automatically override the music and restore it afterwards.
Okay, so we've made our audio connection from our music source onto the rear panel, onto the auxiliary one input. We've set it to play, and so all we need to do to hear it through the system is to advance the auxiliary one control on the front here, the volume control for that input, until we get a satisfactory background music level. Once we're happy with that, the system is up and running. All that needs to be done when an announcement is required is to press the talk button, which in case the music will override, like so. We can make our announcement, and once we're finished, release the button, the music will reinstate. So now we've got the music back again, playing until the next time another announcement is made, in which case it will dip again and reinstate afterwards. So there you go, that's the operation and setup side of the TOA A2000 series of public address amplifiers.